Hey babes and welcome finally to a new video. I just wanted to start off this video by saying I'm sorry for not uploading for a long time, but I have had a lot going on. What I've been doing, I'm going to talk about in this video. So you stay tuned if you want to know. And also just if you don't want to know. <laughs> but in this video, I actually got a request to show you guys how I create my buns with this like zigzag pattern thingy. It's really, really cute and uh, I love it so much. It's so nice right now. Also, when it is summertime to just get the hair out of the way and it's really cute. I'm uploading this the same day when I'm filming it. So also stay tuned for the end of the video because I really need your guys' advice on some stuff. But yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna keep you guys for any longer if you want to see how I create these buns and also this makeup look then just keep watching Okay, so what I normally do. Oh my god. I look like a troll <laughs> I start off with some kind of texture spray. It could be if you use like a mousse uh, or if you use like a you know that powder that makes it textured I like to use this dry texture spray from Moroccan oil. I absolutely love Moroccan oil so just spray this in in my roots and I can also spray it a little bit wherever this also kind of mattifies your hair which is nice if it's a little bit oily and now I do have a little bit of teasing in my hair still from yesterday and now you can just like put it up in two balls but what I did the other day which I really liked was that I just take some sort of like pointy thing and right now I'm just using my bobby pin and I'm going to make like a zigzag pattern. So I'm just taking it, pulling it down and making like a zigzag pattern. Let's see if I could, if it worked out. Hello, messy hair. Can you not? Can you see that that created like a zigzag pattern? I think it's kind of cool, I don't know. And then I'm going to start where I left and also make it down the back. If I can, my hair is very messy, I just noticed. Mm. Ow. I'm just going to put this up so I don't accidentally take some of the hair on that side. And I love to use these kind of I think they're from Tangle Teaser. It's like a hair tie, but it's really good for your hair. And I just messily take everything on this side, pull it up and on the side. I just hold it like that. And I like to pull out a little bit of my like baby hairs. I like that it makes my forehead look a little bit smaller <laughs> and just a little bit messier obviously uh, and then let's see if we can get all of the hair up I just make a messy bun and this is something that you can try and do like a bunch of times and it never really looks good like that something and then I just pull it and make it messier and bigger because I want it to be huge if I have some strands of hair like this I like to just Take it, wrap it around to hide the hair tie, sort of. And a bobby pin, something like that. Okay, like that. And then something that I've been starting to do. Oh no, this is kind of annoying. Let's see if we can... With these baby hairs, I like to take some hairspray and kind of make them stay flat to my forehead. But I'm gonna do that last because right now I obviously want to put on my base and stuff like that. So I might just go in with a little bit of hairspray so it stays the way it is, kind of at least. But then I fix the baby hairs when I'm done with the makeup. So let's go in with the makeup yay <laughs> i'm not gonna talk about all of the products just a few that are new but if you are wondering about anything that i use i have it linked and listed though 
below. So you guys might or might not care or have thought about what I've been up to. You might have seen on like Snapchat and Insta story and Instagram that I'm at least alive, uh, but maybe not have seen what I've been up to. So I thought that as I've been gone for almost two weeks, I'm so sorry, I didn't want to, but I've just had no mental energy besides from what I've had to do when I've come home. I'm just like so tired that I just wanna die. <laughs> um, so this is, by the way, a new product that I've been using. It's a BB cream from Jane Iridale and it's SPF 25 and cruelty free and all that obviously and I really really like it uh, but yeah what I have been up to first of all I've been and recorded a commercial I know you guys might have seen on my insta story that I filmed a little bit what I was up to so I have actually been in a commercial commercial for the body shop and the forever against animal testing campaign and you guys know that i have been working with the body shop and the forever against animal testing campaign for such a long time i talk about it all the time but it's just so close to my heart so i really really want you guys to to hear it and understand how great it is because it can actually change the world and create a worldwide ban so no animals will ever be harmed during cosmetics and beauty stuff but yeah I recorded a commercial with them I have it on my vlogging channel when I recorded it with my dog Balder it's not my dog it's my sister's dog but uh, my sister was there and Balder was there and he was my like companion in the um, commercial so it was really really cute I've actually not seen it yet the commercial uh, when filming this, but I think it will be out tomorrow, Monday, and I'm filming this Sunday. I'm actually filming this the same day that you are watching this. It was so fun to do it with Balder, like a dog that I actually know, and just the dog in general, because I love doggies. If it is out, I will have it on Instagram. Other than that, last week I was also in Norway with Coco Panda, which is like a online store. It was really, really fun. Although, Norway, you have to be better at vegan food. It's a disgrace. <laughs> there were actually a girl that didn't understand that like a carrot cake isn't vegan just because it's no meat in it. She didn't understand that vegan means no meat, no egg, no milk, no butter, you know? Okay, I feel like I really need to do my makeup a little bit quicker when I talk this much or else this video will be like 500 hours <laughs> and then to the thing that has been taking up my time the absolute most as you guys know I have been a part of the Nordic face awards team kinda <laughs> um, this year I've been doing like videos for them for the different themes of the Nordic Face Awards. And the Nordic Face Awards was this Tuesday, this week. And I was a co-host for the entire gala and live stream. If you wanna still see it, it's linked down below. You can see both of my dresses and yeah, just go and watch it because uh, I am very proud of myself. This is something that I would never ever ever have done like a few years ago and I'm so proud of myself for just throwing myself out there and just doing stuff that I think is really really scary I think that is the thing that has been taking up my time the most because I've been so so freaking nervous about it um like the day before and uh, the day off or not like the night off the nordic face awards i didn't sleep at all i woke up like three o'clock and i like fell asleep two o'clock i was scared that i would like fall forget what i was gonna say say something weird it was me co-hosting and it was uh, antonia that uh was the host antonia did such a great job and actually i think i did too 
so proud of myself. <laughs> and it was so much fun. I absolutely love the uh, face awards. Every like every country's uh, face awards is so much fun to follow. And as you guys know, I won last year and it's really fun that they brought me in this year as well so I could be a part of it. And for me, it was kind of like a bucket list thing to stand on stage. It's a live stream and audience and it was scary, but I just really thought it was so much fun. So to that, I just want to say if you guys think that something is really scary and you're like, I would never do that, but it would be cool to do, just do it try it i'm sure that you guys will be amazing at it whatever it is and afterwards you feel so good about yourself so yay us for trying new things and then also i've just been to a lot of events because now that it is summer I feel like every company has like events every single day which is Obviously super fun, I'm not complaining, but just so people understand that I'm not just sitting at home and doing nothing. <laughs> I'm actually out in the world trying to make new contacts and just mingle away. Oh my god, what am I doing to my nose? Why did I, why did I do that? <laughs> Let's see if we can fix it. Don't you worry, we can fix everything, it's just makeup. All right, so now that I have been talking a little bit, I really want to know what is going on in your life. So, or do you have like summer break right now? I think that people in Sweden have it at least. Uh, but please tell me is something fun going on. Maybe you got a dog. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. I want to know, please comment down below so I can go through it and communicate a little bit with you guys because I have missed it like crazy. I'm actually going to a festival next week which will be so much fun and we have like VIP tickets so we are actually going to be partying with the artists so I'm thinking like I'm gonna find me a man. <laughs> no I'm just kidding. Uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you don't already follow me on like Insta Story, um, Instagram, obviously, and uh, Snapchat, please do so you can check that out while I'm there and see all of the artists. Maybe if I'm parting with any of them, I don't know. Maybe hmm. for blush, I'm actually going to use a new product. So I just want to show you guys it. It is the new Back Talk palette from Urban Decay. It's both. Face, blushes, highlights, and also a eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use this one. It's my favorite right now. But it is very, very pigmented, so I like to just push off the excess there. Sometimes I do this face when I put on blush. I don't really know. I'm just kind of weird. And then another new product. Oh my god, you guys will die when you see this. You have probably already seen it because I feel like I'm the last one to get the PR package from Anastasia Beverly Hills because I live in Sweden. It's for some reason, I'm like the last one to get it. But it's the Dream Highlighting Palette, woo! Or Glow Kit, sorry. Look at this, this is so beautiful. I've used like all of them, so it's not super cute right now because it's kind of like messy, but they are so cute. I think I've not used Wriggle, Wriggle. So I think I'm gonna go in with that one. Perhaps a little bit of sunshine, perhaps a little bit of magic. Ooh, it looks more pink than I thought it would be. But it's so cute. Okay, I'm highlighted and now I'm just gonna use this um, glitter drops from Cover FX. It's the new one. And I'm gonna use this on my body. And I'm just gonna use a like foundation brush to buff this in. Doesn't this look amazing? I love it. I'm gonna use the uh, bridal finishing spray from Scandinavia. Then I am actually going to do 
my brows off cam because I've showed how I do it so many times but if you're wondering I'm gonna use the new 24 hour super brow longwear pomade from Kat Von D and this one is the shade Scarlet. So I'll be back when I have my brows done. Now I thought that we could go in with the uh, Naked Heat Palette, the new one from Urban Decay. Love it so much. I'm gonna use like the red one in my crease. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing, but I feel like doing something fiery because like this background, my hair and this dress, like come on. If you uh, want to check out this dress, by the way, I can have it linked down below because it's completely new from Nelly and it is so cute. Oh, this is always so hard to do. Ugh. I'm thinking this will be a very dramatic look. Very suitable for any festival because I'm going to a festival next week, as I said in the beginning. I'm gonna use the darker shade. For those of you that saw my video with Paris Berlin, I have all of these gorgeous shades and I thought that I could use the yellow one in my inner corner. A little bit underneath here. Okay, actually, I just want to deepen the look a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this dark red one up here and I'm going to deepen the crease and pretty much the entire look. And also used to make it a little bit more colorful. Ooh, I already loved that decision. <laughs> I love red. And now for some glitter because festival means glitter. These are my favorite glitters from Nick Love. I'm gonna use it with my finger so I can really pat it on. I hope that you guys can see it's like stars and just a lot of fun stuff. I love these stars, they are so cute. I'm gonna do a similar thing on the other eye and then I'll be back. As you guys can see, I kinda went all over the place with the glitter, but why not? <laughs> So now we have to figure out, no, just kidding. Now I'm going to apply some lashes. These are the Coco Lash from Rouge and Rogue, my favorite right now. I know I always have different favorites from Rouge and Rogue, but these ones are brand new. Um, they just launched with the Coco collaboration. So these are my favorite right now and you guys will see why I love them so much when I put them on. If you are interested in any new uh, lashes, I would 100% recommend Rouge & Rogue. It's the only lashes that I use pretty much. And uh, I have a coupon code for you guys. It's Evelina and I can have it linked down below as well and the website if you are interested. I feel like something's missing over here, so... Is that too much glitter now? I really just want the uh, stars. I think those are the cutest. And then for the lips, the last step. But we are going to fix the hair a little bit also. But I am gonna go in with the new matte lipsticks from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Hollywood and I've had it the last two days now. I love it so much. So I wanted to show you guys it as well, obviously. I just got it the other day and I love it. I have a lot of glitter on my dress right now. So I'm just gonna take some of the uh, stars that I can find and put them on my top lip. Because I saw Seriella Beauty do this. I can link her down below. I thought it was so cute. Is that cute? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> As I said, lastly, I'm just gonna fix my hair a little bit. I'm gonna pull down this. If I'm going to a festival, I will probably put some glitter in my hair as well. Okay, now I have glitter in my hair. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be like that. Uh, okay, I'm going to spray these ones and I'm just gonna lay them flat on my 
forehead like this. I don't know why, but I think it looks cute. Alright, so like that, the makeup and hair is all done. I'm so excited about it. I absolutely love it. It looks so cute. But before I end this video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for sticking with me. And I'm so sorry again for lacking of videos. I have a free day tomorrow as well, so I will be filming there too. As I am going to upload this the same day that I am filming it, I would love to hear in the comments what you would like to see so I know what I can film tomorrow. So please comment down below what you would like to see next. Uh, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you have not already. Click the bell for notifications so you get notified when I upload videos, <laughs> when I do. No, just kidding. I will get better. Two videos a week, that is what I will be uploading. Don't you guys worry. Um, I will really, really try and stick with it. So. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you will have an amazing day.